I've been looking at that potato plant outside. It's definitely not getting any better. I think there's a real problem with it, so I'm not going to leave it any longer. Just in case there's something wrong with it that could spread to another plant. I think I'm going to go and pull it out and maybe find out what's caused that plant to start dying back when it's actually sat right next to another one that looks perfectly healthy. We'll go and do that. We'll get to the bottom of that problem at least. And then we'll move this plant on. That sweet crimson. It's trying to grow. It's put a little bit of size on. Uh, but we have got roots starting to show at the bottom there. So we need to push this plant as much as we can to make it grow quicker. And an ideal time to do that is this weekend with it being so hot. So we'll go and check that plant out first. And then we'll come back and we'll stick that in a bigger container. I've come back to this potato plant that we were looking at. And I'm pretty sure it's got a serious problem. So I'm going to take Susie's advice on this one. And I'm just going to take it out. I'd rather do that than take risk of anything spreading. And that might be part of the reason. It looks like the bottom of the stem is rotting. So we'd better get it all out. I'm going to have a feel around the base of this plant. And there isn't a single potato in here. And I can't find anything in the bottom of here. But it does feel very wet at the bottom. And that just proves it. That sea potato we put in has rotted. So, obviously, it's not draining good enough. But at least now we know what that problem is. So I'm going to leave that one plant in because that seems perfectly fine and it's flowering as well and we'll check the drainage on the bottom of these and I might have to add some extra drainage holes to this I'll sort that out later Well that answered that question It's not like a light It's not blight That sea potato has basically rotted so I need to get that container up on this bench at some point and just check underneath just to make sure that those drain holes aren't all blocked because that's the only thing that would cause that the soil being consistently wet but it's not rotted the seed potato beside it so there's still a little bit of mystery there well at least now we know we've took it out and it's not going to cause any problems for any other plants hopefully that one potato plant that's left in there has got something underneath it but those plants aren't ready to harvest quite yet even though they are second earlies they need 14 to 16 weeks at least and if you've got a year that started off quite bad probably a little bit longer and we'll get round to that harvest as soon as possible so we'll give those a few more weeks and then we'll start harvesting those second earlies and hopefully we'll get something out on it i think i'm going to move this melon plant into this container it's not a massive container but it's not a massive plant we just need to get a little bit of extra room for those roots to develop and this container has got loads of nice sized holes in the bottom so drainage won't be a problem I best only put a little bit in this container so that's quite a big amount of compost that's already in that other pot. I'll just take this out. And they don't seem too bad to me. It is quite wet though. We brought it in this greenhouse originally because it was quite wet and it's not dried out too much either. So it's a good job we're moving it into this new container because this compost is really dry. So that's going to help. So I'm just going to seat that in there. Then just fill right edges on it. Just give that a bit of a shake. I'm 
and I'll just top that off making sure I'll leave that gap around that edge as well. And that's as plant in its new own there. And it's got a lot more space to grow on. I am going to give it a top dressing, a slow release fertilizer and all. And then I'm going to add a little bit of liquid seaweed to that. That should be all the nutrients it needs to at least double in size of it next week. So, And we're not watering it because we're trying to dry it out. Meanwhile, I think we're going to have to take quite a few of these plants out here today and put them on bench like we did the other week when it's too hot. It'll be too much hassle constantly coming in and out and checking on these plants for drying out. So I'm going to find a shady spot for them and put them out on that bench. Between now and then, it's getting hotter and hotter and it's going to be really hot this afternoon. So it's time to go and bottom water all plants. It's better that I do it now than wait until it gets really hot this afternoon. We're going to have to start and get some canes in this greenhouse as well now. Because these tomato plants have put quite a bit of height on. Just over last week. And this cucumber's coming on as well. So we'll start and tie this to these canes. And it might be hot. But there's one thing that's enjoying it. And that's all these peppers. It's starting to get some good size to them now. Even those small ones that we're putting recently have come on a little bit more. It shouldn't be too long before we start to see some flowers. And we also need to tie these up. For some reason, this one's just split off into two big stems and it's hanging onto the floor. So I'm gonna tie these up today as well. Keep that base of that plant clear. Just like we have done with this one. We don't want these plants falling over once they get to that height and they're starting to flower as well. But these peppers that we've put in these two litre containers, they've really put some size on there. Ironically, we've got one in a little container and that's already got a flower on it. And this tomato basket's doing really well. Just starting to fill out a little bit now that. These tomatoes on this plant have got a bit bigger now, which is brilliant. That container dwarf tomato plant is also filling up. And you can see just how much growth that this container's put on over the last few days. That spinach that we did recent. And we did some beetroot and that's also coming up nicely. Really starting to fill these containers out. And that's the biggest cherry tomato plant that we've got in a container. Another dwarf one called Cherry Falls. But these tomatoes are a real good size now. So, a quick water in here. We'll get these plants tied up and then we know they're not going to fall over and get damaged. Just keep your eye on your plants over at weekend and don't spend too much time in a greenhouse. It's going to be far too hot for that. But if you want to see what we're going to be doing over at rest at weekend, please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and we'll see you next time. Take care.